I just call him possibly the silliest, but actually a rather interesting way to actually get out of here using something I never thought I would, you know. Okay. Uh... Oh! Okay! Okay. I should be able to get out with you. Okay, that's actually... <gasps> I just saw her, and I was like... <gasps> Yeah, sorry about that, but it must- No! I'm gonna go ahead and once again hide in the Duke's place. Because, yeah. He fell asleep! <laughs> Take your nap. No, seriously, take your nap. Okay. No! Go away, go away. I think she's gone. Please, for the love of God, don't go in. Okay, so she can't come out here. Cool. That's actually good news, because that would have really sucked. I'm guessing at the next, uh, I don't know. Whoa. Holy freaking cow! 
Yo, what is going on here? So this is where I'm heading. Oh shoot. Is she in here? Sniper armor? I mean, Emma? I wasn't talking about hiding!
Yeah, that's of what we that's what in the real world we would call child endangerment. Now. Which way are you coming from? I'm probably gonna die.
But I'm probably guessing my best bet for getting the most damage uh, would probably start off with, uh, uh, if you get where I'm going. Okay. Oh boy.
uh, once they come down to the floor, then I'll go over right on. And... Like, once they're on the ground, then... Okay, I guess I'll use the last pipe bomb that I got on my tail. Oh, piss off! That's what we call a child endangerment! Which way you're going so I can throw it at you. earned. So, I can't believe I ended up all the way down here. That is crazy. What the heck is this? Dirty blast. What are you going to do with it? Okay. 
Look for Rose is the next objective. So, it looks like we're back to square one, aren't we? Eww! Please. Alright, okay, I finished that item that was requested. Please deliver it to the house with the, with the red chimney. Go through the caves to the ruins and then down to the village. Oh boy. So, let me... Yeah, just making sure. Okay, so... That was a lot that happened. Oh my god! Yeah. That was actually a lot that happened. I won't lie. That was like something else. It was crazy. And, yeah. I, I know sometime next time I really gotta start looking for, uh... I really gotta find, you know, something to, you know, get my health up again and all that stuff. Because, yeah, and that castle ain't it. But, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna end it off here. That was a crazy episode, I ain't gonna lie. We got some wild things happening and all that stuff. And, okay, there's this question that I've been meaning to ask, but I didn't because it didn't cross my mind at the time. But, you guys remember that, you remember guys, you guys remember earlier when, um, you guys remember before where Ethan had, where, um, I was trying to open that lever, and then Ethan got, he basically got his hand completely cut off from the rest of his arm. And then, after the chase a row with, uh, with Lady D, which I'm going to call her at this point because I can't pronounce that other, because the last name, I can't pronounce it for crying out loud, but, what is, but then he used that chem, he used, of course, the chemical fluid stuff, uh, and for some miraculous reason, and managed to reattach his hand to his arm, and it's like, yeah, it reattached his severed hand to the rest of his arm. Bruh, <laughs> oh my god, bruh, come on, like that, like, man, Ethan Winter's got more plot armor than Rey from the Rise of, uh, from Star Wars, and people thought maybe Rey had plot armor, and all uh, that sort of stuff, even in the moment in the Rise of Skywalker to where she died temporarily after killing the Emperor. But yeah, I feel like compared to that, Ethan Winters has way too much plot armor, though he is the main character, but still, Ethan. <laughs> also, what? Like, how, like, how in the world is, I don't, I don't know, I'm not gonna even try to question, I, I don't want to question how in the world did his hand reattach to the rest of his arm. Just, go by the logics of this game, because real life logics, you'd be like, bro, what the fridge? But, you know, it's like, I can't believe that happened. I can't believe, like, that was able, that was, uh, he was able to reattach, you know, his severed hand back. That, well, and with little issue. I mean, I know, like, in certain desperate times, you're gonna do whatever you, whatever it takes. You know, like, it, you know, I, I know you're in desperate times, you're gonna do whatever it takes to... you know, take care of that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I actually, uh, finished out, I'm like, right now, I'm guessing finished from the castle for now. I mean, who knows if I could end up going back there, because, you know, back and forth and chiz and all that stuff. You know, kind of like in Fallen Order, to where you just kind of went back and forth between different planets. Because, on a whole, you only visited, like, uh, or different places or planets. Uh, shoot.
because I think on the game, you, you probably visited maybe uh, four or five planets, and at least three of them, at le yeah, I guess at least three you end up revisiting, and it's hilarious. I think Illum was the only one that doesn't get a revisit like that, but for everything else, yeah. But yeah, that was a pretty crazy episode. I keep saying that, but what? But do I care? No, and I don't care in the slightest. But I know, and I know the room went through. I was like, "What the frick was I supposed to do?" So I consulted YouTube, and thank you. I mean, thank God because because otherwise I probably would have been running around like an idiot for like 45 minutes. And I, I mean, and right now where I am, like, cause. You know, because sometimes, I mean, you got life going on, all that stuff. I mean, I currently, right now, you know, it's just life is crazy and all that stuff. And because of that, I ain't got the time and patience to go wandering around how the frick to get out of the castle for 45 minutes. That's why YouTube is, you know, you got to consult YouTube. You do what you got to do in order to just, you know, make sure you get it through safe and all that shit. But anyway, um, thank you guys. For joining me on this wild what the heck adventure of Ethan Winters as he goes and searches for his daughter. And also in the wonderful wacky adventures of Ethan, of Ethan Winters Wilden for the umpteenth time. I did not exaggerate when I said that he was wildin' because he was wildin'. And that's the bottom line. Anyway, so. <laughs> And I know, and, uh, I, pro I mean, I haven't even recorded a second set, um, in a while, because I think the last time, because, I mean, I know you're going to be seeing these videos much later, um, uh, but I actually, the last time I did record was, like, around, I think it was, I think it was, like, March 27th or something? So, yeah, a little over a month ago. So yeah, about a month ago since I last recorded this, although to be fair, I was recording a lot of Injustice 2 and WWE 2K19 lately, uh, especially 2K19 because, I mean, honestly, I undermined, I undermined, I were, I severely undermined the unintentional hilarity and the actual entertainment that um, 2K19 would bring. And then of course, or of course, obviously 2K, uh, and then of course Injustice 2, it's, it's amazing, it's my, it's one of my favorites, and all this sort of stuff, but I mean, then, then again, I undermine 2K19 far too much, and I'm giving it the proper attention it deserves, and what I mean is I've just been recording a lot of it, because whenever I get, whenever I get a chance, whenever I do record, it's usually, I mean, usually I go, like, do a good, you know, a good chunk of Injustice 2, and then of course I do a major chunk of 2K19 because, oh boy, because I know very much, very soon in the near future, you're going to be seeing 2K22, and just from the looks of it, and just from the many positive things that I've heard about it, uh, from the 2K22, ooh, that one is going to hit. Because I know another th another thing that I seem to notice is that because this game because they I mean because right around the time when 2K19 came out the 2K19 Let's Play came out I mean I still had a fair uh, good amount of videos for 2K18 and then just kind of let them run its course run their course but I'm guessing once I finish with this game. Then I'll probably just kind of delete any history so that, in case if I want, you know, I might consider bringing 2K18 back or something, and just roll with that. I don't know. <laughs> so many things. I'm not sure, but we'll roll with it. But anyway, as I was saying, thank you guys for joining me on this wild and epic and uh, this wildly hilarious adventures. And I am Terry Termichi, as I said, fight. That's the, that's the thing. I don't know what I don't know what I was going with that outro. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Also, Lady D can go choke on a chicken nugget. No, never mind. <laughs>
not choke on a chicken nugget. She can choke on a pogo stick. Yeah, that's 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 where I'm getting. She could go choke on a pogo stick. 